Like I ain't gotta hit it to the left like of me. I ain't gotta hit like we ain't in these streets more than sesame. Ooh. But that shit chicken, why she texting yeah, why me? She text me? Why she keep calling my phone, speaking sexually? Ooh. Every time I'm out, why she stressing Yo, me? She stressing you call her Stephanie? Call her, huh? I call her Heffany. Oh, he look good. I'm out here feeling daddyish, boy. My barber just blessed my whole life. Uh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. What's up, what's up, what's up, it's Malik, and I'm in a different setting right now, because you know, that's how I'm feeling today. I'm feeling like a living room, so, you know, we gonna film the living room. Today is another story time, bro. I've been keeping the story on the back burner because I try to keep a lot of, like, my relationship type, you know, real in-depth story times on the back burner because a lot of girls, they get really mad when I tell stories about them. Because, like, I remember that story time I made, um, it's called She Played Me. The girl blocked me on everything, bro. So, a lot of girls, man, these girls is out here saucy, but look, I don't care no more. I graduated from high school. I don't really talk to none of the girls that I met in high school no more, like, new life, who this. Comment down in the comment section below if you want more, like, relationship type, you know, like, personal story times. If y'all want them, I'm gonna bring them. So, let's get to it. All right, so basically this happened like a couple months ago actually. One of my friends, she was talking about this girl that she worked with and I was like, let me see a picture of her. She showed me a picture of her and I was like, hold up. Why does she look like a three piece combo from Popeyes? Like when I say shorty was bad, bro, she was like, you just, you see her and you just be like, yeah. So she's like, yeah, she's single right now. She's a real good girl, blah, blah, blah. I think that you and her would be perfect together. I've never been a put me on type dude. I always like to do the work for myself. But in this case, I really had no way of getting to her because she went to a different school. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that this girl, we gonna call her, um, we gonna call her Samika. She had already followed me on Twitter. So I had thought about sliding her DMs. But like, that's not really my thing no more. Like, I'll do it if I really have to, but I really wasn't trying to. But the main reason I wasn't really trying to slide into her DMs is because my friend, uh, she had told me that she was like, she really doesn't like when guys slide her DM, so I was trying to chill with it. One day, Tamika asked me on Snapchat, and I was just like, look, bro, it's there. Might as well go for it. So I hit her with the hey in the messages. She's like, hey, back. I'm like, bro, you gotta give a little compliment, you know, a little, uh, uh, yeah. And she was like flattered because, you know, girls just like really fall for compliments, bro. I get her number, and we start talking, you know, it's like basic things at first, like, what's your favorite color? You know, like, just getting to know her. So after about like a week and a half of us, like, maybe it was, it was maybe like two or three weeks. Might have been like, yeah, it was like two weeks. One day I asked her, I was like, do you want to chill? And she was like, chill? Like, what do you mean by chill? Go to the mall, maybe get some ice cream, like, you regular stuff and then she was like oh okay so is this like an actual date or are we just hanging out and i was like you know it's whatever you want it to be so she was like it's a date i'm like cool it's whatever not really hit me mentally that day that i had to kind of show out for her because she was like one of them i would say she was bougie but she was like real like high to diddy and i don't mean that like in a bad way she was just like really on her p's and her q so i had to like show out it's not like one of them females that you can take to like chipotle or something like i had to take her out on some like you know it's not not real high class but you know like in the, like, not Applebee's, not Ruth's Chris, but like in the middle of that, you feel me? We had decided to go to this place called Copper River. That's where I take all my dates. I'm not afraid to say it. Like, if you go on a date with me, nine times out of ten, we're gonna go to Copper River on the first date just because, like, honestly, I don't know why I do that. Now, the plan was I was supposed to scoop her around like seven or eight, but this is where it goes wrong, dog. My parents had took my car, right? And they had left their phones at home, so I couldn't call them to see where they was and tell them to bring my car back. And this is like, maybe 6 30 at the time 6 45 so i'm over here in a crib stressing like i'm trying to like not tell her that i don't have my car right now but eventually i had to tell her because my parents was just full of ghost mode couldn't find them they left their phones at home had no idea where they was going so i couldn't like call a uber to go and like see where they was i told her and she was like oh it's fine i'll come scoop you and i really didn't want it to go that way because i don't know it's like a it's like a guy thing like normally when you take a girl out on a date you want to be in control kind of you want to serve to her in a way so i felt like a little boy when she came to scoop me bro it's a it's a pride slash dominance thing guys know what i'm talking about like females probably like what are you talking about bro like you sound foolish but my dudes out there, like, we here, we here. So she come to scoop me, like, the car conversation was cool. We was talking about, like, music at the time, because at this time, Drake had just dropped his album, and Beyonce had just dropped her album, and she was a huge Beyonce fan, and I'm a huge Drake fan, and she was like, oh, well, Beyonce album is better than Drake's, and this, that, and the third. I almost smacked her, because for one, you don't disrespect views like that, bro. Like, I wanted to three-piece on her throat. But I was, you know, I wasn't gonna wild out this day. I was like, you know what? You know what? I'm a, I'm a... 
I'ma chill. <laughs> nah, but the conversation was cool. We get there, you know, I open the door for her, this, that, and the third. You know, I'm on my real, you know, gentleman, daddy type status. We get to the table, bruh, and I kid you not, she's on her phone like 85% of the time. The whole time when I'm trying to make conversation with her, she's on her phone just like, uh huh. Yeah, yeah. And then she'll put her phone down and then she'll like put her two cents about the conversation, look at me for a second, nod her head a little bit, look around the place, back on her phone. And I didn't get why she kept looking around the place, bro. Like, she didn't look at me. <laughs> she was just like, are, are you lost? That was like two things that really made me mad. And the next thing that really triggered me is that I really think that she thought I was a broke boy. Like she was on the menu, she was looking for stuff, right? And like, she was like on a diet. Like she said that she was like trying to eat healthier. She got water, but guess what she ordered, bro? She ordered a salad and it wasn't just like no regular, like, you know, restaurant type salad with all the dressings and everything. She got a plain salad, bro. And the thing is like, when she was looking around the order and like when the waitress or waiter had came, she was like looking at me like, do you even have enough money to pay for this? And then she looked back and then, I'm in the cut just like, you think I'm broke? Do you see this fake polo coat? I got money. You see that drink right there? That's a large. I got money. Do you see this Sean John? I got on this fake polo, this Gucci. I got money. I got on dollar cologne from a dollar store. I got money. Shut that shit up. Bro, when I said I ain't never felt so disrespected by somebody's eyes, we get our food and she's still doing this like phone thing. She talking to me, blah, blah, blah. She eating. We get ready to go. She drops me off and she never texts me again, bro. Like she just went full ghost on me one day. But I really wasn't feeling her much after that date anyway, so I wasn't really like tripping off of it. But I did flex to the homies after the date because after the date when she dropped me off, I went to my friend Mill's house. He was like, yo fam, like how did it go? And I was just like, oh yeah, bro, it went, it was like everything, bro, it was, it was cool. Trust me, it was cool. Knowing in my mind, bro, it was like, it was the worst date ever. So that's the end of the story. If Tamika is watching, it's all love, man. It was just a really, um, a really bad date, but like we still cool, like ain't no hard feelings. If y'all want more personal story times, comment them down in the comment section below because I got some wilder stories in this one. I got some, bro, like y'all be surprised at some of the stuff I experienced. If you're new, subscribe to my channel. I upload daily and uh, it's lit. So next time, deuces. Yeah. Travis, Scott, Tugger, Tugger, baby.